So here's the scenario. Your boss comes over, says, hey, you know what? I found this image on the web. I think it's really cool. I want to put it in my PowerPoint presentation. Why don't you do that for me? So your first option would be just to uh, insert it in the PowerPoint by itself. Uh, the problem is going to be that it's going to be huge. I, I got this image pretty big just as an example. It would be huge. You have to shrink it down. And if you keep adding huge images, your PowerPoint's going to be monstrous. Basically, PowerPoints like these, PowerPoints that um, you want to go to people should be able to, uh, you should be able to email them. If they're over eight meg, you're not going to be able to email them. You could do eight meg with just eight pictures. So this is going to show you how to shrink it down. So right now we have an image and let's say, and I'm just going to just follow me here. Uh, save for web. See right here. It says 1.23 meg. That's how big it is right now. Cause it's pretty huge. So, and right here's the image size, uh, 3,200 by 2,200, which is very big. So for a normal PowerPoint, we can shrink this down quite a bit. So this is how to shrink an image. Go up to an image, image size. Up here you see your pixel dimensions. Uh, make sure all this stuff is checked, which it usually is. It's a default. Um, don't worry about this document size. That's only for print. Most of, We'll cover print later. But this is just for online presentations like PowerPoint or Word, something like that. So let's say we want to make it uh, 500 and look at that. All we do is type in 500 and it automatically changes this to 344 because we have this linked here. Um, basically, it just keeps it uh, proportional. So we have width 500, click OK. And look at that. Now, that's not how big it is. We're going to try to get to 100%. That's pretty much, that's a little bit over 100%. So now let's go over here to File, Save for Web. GIF is 50.7K. That's awesome. JPEG is even smaller, 35.4K. So we'll go ahead and save this, and let me, I'll show you how I did this again. Image, image size, you know, we change it here, you click OK. Then you go to File, Save for Web and Devices. This is what I usually, I always use this when I'm saving anything for courses or for presentations. Gives you the option to save it as a GIF, and you notice as you change it, this stuff down here changes. Um, PNG, those are a little bit bigger. You can have transparencies, but I won't go into that. So, normally if you have a picture that looks like this, you're going to want to save it as a JPEG. So right now we have it as high. We could take it down to medium. That changed down to 19K. And you can also kind of see what it will it will change in this little uh, screen right here. The You really can't see it here, but you, if you were zoomed in, you could see it a little closer. So we'll just save it out as medium save we are going to save it at the on the desktop in Photoshop files okay let's see let's try this again save it again we'll change it to business people world 2 okay so now let's minimize this and we'll go into Photoshop files now we'll see this 2 meg right here, that's the one that I originally downloaded. This Business People World 2 is the one I saved. Look at that, 25K. So let's look at it. We'll see what the actual dimensions are. So that's the actual dimension. That's probably a perfect size for your PowerPoint. So, I mean, we could have made it any size we want, but as you see, that's how you shrink down an image. Um, I won't really cover enlarging images, and I'll we'll talk about that a little bit later, but this is basically how to shrink down an image down a dirty version.